Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody, and welcome to the next instalment of Wheatley TV. Today, the first of playing at the Wheatley Oval against Anston. Um, and going from one ridiculously beautiful innings from Dilhan, not Dilshan, Dilhan, apologies for that, who scored uh, a beautiful century last week, we move on to another ridiculous Sri Lankan, uh, a Mr. Fernando. And a bit of an update, Mr. Fernando a few weeks ago played Bawtry and scored 283 runs on his own out of a total score of 441. And he did that off 140 balls with 25 fours and 23 sixes. So looking forward to seeing him today. So Anson have won the toss and decided to bowl. Uh, and opening for Wheatley is Alex Anger and down the other end is Tom Watfield. And uh, bowling for Anson is Fernando. So in comes the first ball. And just wide and well left. In comes Fernando, Alex Anger has absolutely smashed that and that's four runs. Uh, apologies for the camera work again, I'm sat on a bank here. And that's a, an absolute peach for Fernando there. Um, I'll try and move in a minute and get a bit of flatter ground. And in comes the Anston bowler. Alex Angers hit that over his head. And that has flown into the tennis courts for six runs. Beautiful shot there by Alex. And uh, this man only knows one way. And after three overs, uh, the second umpire decides to turn up. Which is good news for Pete Wood, who can go and rest his weary legs back on the sidelines. And in comes Fernando to Tom Watfield, and that's chipped into the leg side. And that's going to be two runs if they get there. It's going to be very close. Yeah, beautiful run in there. So, five overs down. Uh, Wheatley currently 20 with no loss. Uh, Alex Angel on 16. In comes the Anston Bowler, and he's thumped that in the air. And the fielder's going to get there. And they've run two more runs. So, Alex Angel to face. And in comes the bowler, and that is hit, and that's caught on the boundary, and Alex out for 24. So that was a quick fire 24 um, from Alex Anger, and that brings uh, Munch, one of the fans' favourites to bat, faces the first ball and last ball of the over, Nice forward defensive into the offside. Oh, that was a good leave. Right over the top of the stumps. So I really should do a bit of a team news update. Um, so this week back in the team is obviously Munch, who's come to bat and a massive fan favourite. Gets a lot of comments on the um, on the videos. And also back is Mad Dog, who definitely is a fan favourite. Um, so we'll be coming in towards the end and, uh, and wicking again today. In comes Fernando, and nice forward defence from Munch. In comes the ball there, and that is well hit into the offside. And that's four runs for Tom Waterfield. Nearly great field into the cover area there, but uh, managed to sneak through. So, Fernando going into ball here. Munch to, uh, ooh, and that's hit the pads. And the umpire waves it away. He's, uh, looked like it was going down leg. A quick update on the score, eight overs has gone, um, Wheatley are 39 for one. Um, Tom on a steady 12 and Munch only just come into bat, uh, got two runs. And Tom has absolutely thumped that. And that's raced away four runs, great there, great shot there by Tom. Good recovery ball there from uh, the Anson bowler. So two slips in for this bowler and uh, Munch again has dispatched that into the tennis courts and that's six runs. What a beautiful, beautiful shot that was. Yeah, and after that sumptuous six for Munch, um, that takes Wheatley on to uh, 51. The bowler follows up with an absolute perler. And uh, for those of you who are wondering why I'm commentating today, and where Mr Peck is, uh, that's a lovely ball. Um, big shout from Anston, um, but not out. Um, so yeah, so Mr Peck is... Um, at Centre Parks with the family, he's taking the boys and, and Kat uh, on holiday. Uh, I think he should be back next week, but if not, you'll have me again. So another change of baller from Manson here, and the uh, wicketkeeper standing up for this one. And that has popped, and well held by the wicketkeeper. Edge to slip, but didn't carry. 
Go back to. And that's hit the bowler, hit the stumps, and the uh, the umpire said not out. But another close call there. That's some lovely flight. That's hit up in the air and caught. Lovely catch after a second. A bit of a juggle there, but beautiful catch. And uh, that's Munch out. So with that wicket, we are now 57 for two off, 15 overs. And it brings the infamous Mad Dog into bat, who's been uh, travelling up and down the country this week playing cricket. I think on uh, Wednesday he was in Bournemouth, on Thursday he was playing in Tidworth, and Saturday in Wheatley. And uh, I think we all know Wheatley's the better place. That's an absolute stunning forward drive. Fielder picks it up for a quick single. Mad dog off the mark. And that is an absolute peach of a ball. Just misses the edge. Great ball in here for Manston. And that is thumped. It's a beautiful shot there from Tom for uh, four runs. And uh, right in the, uh, the slot for him. That's a lovely ball. And another big shout. And potential run out. Um, Completely run through for a quick single. Oh, and it's edged and stopped at slip. Good reactions there at slip. So that's 20 overs down and 30 to go. And uh, Wheatley on a steady 69. Make that 70. Uh, for two wickets. Uh, Tom Waterfield currently on 27. That looked like it was uh, pretty close, and the, the umpire calls that one a wicket. So Tom Watfield, for 27, walks off. And with that wicket brings um, Luke Tong to the crease to face his first ball. We do a 70 for three, and that's an absolute pearler again, but well kept out. That is also given out. So that's two wickets in this over. And with that wicket brings uh, left hander and a change of direction for the bowler. Uh, Johnny Lotes the wicket. That's a full toss and dispatched towards the boundary but well fielded. And two runs there. So we're joined here by uh, opening batsman Alex Anger. Um, so Alex, how do you think we're doing so far? We had a decent start. Um, Fernando bowled tight lines. The other guy, you know, held us up. So I decided to go after him a bit more. It's not like you to uh, just whack it from ball one, Alex. No, well, circumstances are different. Aren't they? they are, mate. They are. I'll tell you what, you are entertaining, an entertaining opener. Thank you. So 25 overs down here and uh, Wheatley 76 for 4, fighting for every run. In comes the ball, that's edged. Oh, it's dropped at slip. Unlucky that. And that is chipped in the air, but it, between two fielders. And misfielded. And Wheatley come back for two. Two runs to Johnny Lotes. And that is. Down leg side, yes! and that's a huge six for Mad Dog and a big cheer yes, from the doggy! crowd. Is that his first six? <laughs> yeah. Good Good long time. Down leg doggy. side, Loves and tickle team. down to the boundary for four more runs for Mad Dog. So Mad Dog picking up the pace here, it moves on to 16 and that is an absolute peach for the ball, pops up. <coughs> and well defended and that's the over. Yes, 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 yes. So, 21 overs to go. Uh, Wheatley 93 for four. And that is an absolute Wheatley worm burner. And uh, Mad Dog is out. That's a lovely little ball in. And another wicket down. So, Wheatley now 93 for five. And with that wicket, Wheatley are struggling a bit here. Uh, 93 for five. And uh, to the crease comes Richard Topham. And punches that back to uh, 
mid-off. And that's a beautiful drive. Stopped by the fielder for a quick single and uh, Rich top him off the mark. And that is bold. And that's swung a mile. Richard Toppen is out. It's another wicket for Anston. Six down. So the collapse continues for Wheatley and in comes George Lewis. That's another lovely ball. Well dug out there. Uh, scored 97 for six. Oh, that's edged. Didn't quite carry that. A good stop at first slip. And Fernando's come to join him. It's a sort of a first second slip, and that's nerdled into the leg side. Fielder runs after it, and it's a quick single. And George Lewis is off the mark. And that is carved into the offside for four runs for Johnny Lotes. Beautiful shot. So Wheatley have finally reached 100, and uh, six wickets down, 16 overs to go. And George Lewis and Johnny Lotes playing themselves in. Johnny's on to 16, George's on to two. That's a lovely air ball. And it's hit Johnny's bat for no run. A new ball here for Anston. In he comes, and George clips that off his legs. And it's not quite going to go for four. Fielder picks up, and uh, George runs back for two. And in comes the Anston bowler to Johnny Lowitz, and uh, pushed on the ground for a quick single. And good running there. And again, pushed to the same fielder for another quick single. Bit of a wider position from a camera point of view and that is slapped into the leg side and that's four runs. Good effort by the fielder. And Johnny has thumped that in the air and that's going to be between the fielders and they come back for two runs. Well, Johnny's sticking around here, 23 runs after his um, fantastic century last week. Um, he might look to start to accelerate with only uh, 13 overs to go. So Fernando back into the uh, action for, uh, for Anston and uh, Johnny slaps that into the leg side for no run. And that has gone for four wides. Oof. Absolute pearl of a ball there. Comes in again and that's driven through the deep cover point region for a quick two. Fielder picks it up, throws it in, and Johnny moves on to 30. And Georgie Lewis here facing. Uh, in comes Ian, and that stayed very low. And well done, George, for keeping that one out. And that one has uh, taken the off stump and uh, George walks off with a hard fought 10 runs there. <laughs> so a score update here, uh, Wheatley 137 for 7, 10 overs to go, uh, Fernando comes marching in, Johnny Lotes facing and he comes slapped into the uh, offside for a quick single. And uh, Jamie Sizer, the new batsman in after George departed for 10. So Jamie Sizer to face Fernando here. And, uh, and it's going to be close to run out and he gets back just in time. And that is Ball's absolute beauty. Bit of an in-swinger and uh, Johnny Lotes walks for 30. So, 10 overs to go, uh, Wheatley 140 for 7, and again a good, uh, good innings there by Johnny, unfortunately it was a, an absolute peach of a ball, and in comes Cal Rutherford, so Cal Rutherford to face here, and he's going to be looking for some runs today after his, uh, his duck last week, it's a lovely ball to start with, well kept out by Cal. 
comes the bowler that's chipped up in the air, just short of the uh, fielder out there, and uh, Cal's off the mark with a quick single. And that's the over. And a bit of a weather update here. The sun is finally out at Wheatley. In comes Fernando, and that's uh, a bit of a bouncer. And as you can see, Carl hasn't got a helmet on. Uh, that was a lovely ball, well kept out there by Sis. So I moved into the uh, seventh over, six or seven overs to go, I should say, and that was an absolute peach of a ball. And uh, Carl takes the slow walk back to the Pavilion after scoring two runs. Two more than last week. So nine down, 144, Jordan Niles coming into bat. And first ball, full toss, digs out for no run. Jordan facing the second ball and that was an absolute perler and just missed leg and uh, middle. I don't know how that missed, but it did. And that is slapped extremely hard into the offside and um, that's four runs from Jordan. Beautiful shot. So Jamie sides it to face against Fernando here. Six overs to go. In comes Fernando and that is slapped in the air and it should be caught. And it is caught. And that is the end of the weekly innings. So weekly innings close uh, 148. All out, uh, six overs left to go, but uh, unfortunately couldn't back the overs. And uh, well bowled and well fielded by Anston. And uh, let's see if it's a par score. Uh, I guess it'll massively depend on uh, Fernando and how he's feeling today. And so we're back after a short break. Uh, the Anston batters are at the wicket and opening the bowling today. For Wheatley is Cal Rutherford back off his injury. His shoulder injury, let's see how he holds up. <laughs> So, first ball of the weekly innings, and in comes Cal, and stayed very low. What's he call this area? The weekly worm burner. And Anson's target is uh, 149. And um, it's a lovely start there from Cal. And well dug out from the uh, Anson batsman. So, battle of the overseas players here Jordan Niles steaming to ball against the uh, infamous Fernando, Mr. Fernando, I should say. And a bit short, a bit of pace, slapped his leg side for no run. Oh, that's a big shout, and he's given! And Fernando walks for a duck. Match on, I believe. So, Anston, two for one at the moment. Jordan Niles coming in. Down the leg side in a wide. Would have been good to the left hander, though. And in comes Mr. Rutherford for his second over. Steaming in, hit off the legs. Or whipped off the legs, I should say. And I don't think that's gonna go. Fielder picks it up. And uh, they were looking to run three, but didn't in the end. Good fielding from Richard Topham there. And Jordan deep into his second over here. And he's up in the air, just short of the, uh, the fielder, Luke Tong there. So a bit of rebuilding from Anson required here, I think. And it flies through to our dog in the wicket keeping position. That's the end of the over. And Cal comes trundling in. And that is nicked, and he is gone. It didn't look like he wanted to walk there, but that's uh, definitely a nick, and that's caught behind. So it's great balling. And uh, that's two down for Anson. So the next batsman out for Anston. In comes Cal, full toss, slow ball. It's driven up the ground. It's uh, just going to be the one run. In comes Cal, and that is hit. His pad, and he has given that out. That's another wicket for Mr. Rutherford, LBW. So Anston, uh, 11 for three, and uh, the rebuilding required, I think, here in the batting department. That's another lovely ball from Cal. And it's driven up to George who fields for a quick single. And going for a quick run out. And well backed up there. Good cricket all round there for Manston. Quick run and uh, fielding from Wheatley. Good again. All over 
I'm looking at that has chipped back over Jordan's head. Really unfortunate there. Yeah. And the Anston batter comes through for a quick single. Jordan's just moved Cal Rutherford uh, fine leg to go a bit deeper, so. And he's bowled in LBW. And that's uh, the third LBW today. And that's uh, four wickets now. So Ant's in a bit of trouble here, 15 for four. In comes Carl Rutherford for his next over, and that's a perler of a ball. Just missing the edge of the Anston batter. And that's another big shout, but turned away this time by the umpire. Yeah, it might be worth saying at this point as well, um, as uh, Mr Peck is away until uh, late on Monday. The, um, the video won't be going up until later in the week. Um, and I think he's away next weekend as well, so there might be a bit of delay in these videos coming out. Um, so apologies for that. I'm going to try and learn how to edit myself. So it's not, uh, we're not completely reliant on uh, Mr Peck when he goes away on holiday. And that's clipped off the legs and that has gone for four runs. It's a beautiful little uh, nudge off the legs there from Anston Bats. So that's a much needed four runs. And that is a great shot again. Okay, it's not going to go there. It's a very, very slight field today. So they run two. It's a big throw for Munch. So 10 overs down and Anston are 22 for four here. In comes Cal. And that's an absolute peach for ball, but a no ball. And uh, misfield behind the stunts by Mad Dog for a quick single. Oh, no, then. That looked very close. So the umpire turns it down. And that's clipped off the legs. Down to uh, the fine, fine man boundary and uh, fine leg, I should say. Um, for four runs. Oh. So I guess it wouldn't be right if I didn't do a Jordan Isles update. Um, so this last week we have been doing a Harry Potter marathon because Jordan Niles has never watched them. So we are uh, watched the Half Blood Prince last night and we're on to the last two which I'm sure we'll finish by the end of the weekend. Oh, and that's edged, and that's uh, stopped on the boundary. The third man, George. So four slips in now for uh, the Wheatley boys, and that's missed all of them and gone down to George again. Who stops it? So a change of bowler here, a future Australian overseas player, Jamie Sizer. That's once he's got his passport, that is. And that's off the pads, no runs. Oh, that stayed low. Well kept out there by Anson Maxman. And that is, oh, slapped out into the uh, gully area, dropped by Cal. And uh, another single by Anson there. I don't know whether I should try and get these two slips in here. Uh, not the best camera angle, but let's give it a go. This boundary map's very short. Let's keep it there for a couple of balls. That's flicked back. Oh, and dropped by Jordan. So unlucky. So Anston digging deep here. 37 for four. In comes Jamie Sizer. And that's flicked to Cal. And that's uh, no run. So a rest for Jordan Niles and Alex Angel coming on. And that has swung a country mile. Interesting stuff. First time I've seen him ball. And that's chipped up. And uh, could potentially be run out. No. I'm looking. Hey, George. You all right? Come on, Alex. In comes Sis. And uh, that stayed low again. And a half, half an appeal there. Uh, it was going quite far down leg, I think. And in comes Alex Angel for a second over. And that again has swung in quite some distance. Well watched there by the Anston batsman. Yeah. 
Ah, and that's Edge to melt. Beautiful line length there from Jamie Sizer and, and awesome wicket keeping by Mad Dog, as always. And a feather nick, and uh, that's another wicket, so that's 41 for five. So 20 overs gone and answer the 43 for 5, in comes uh, Jamie Sizer. And that's that full toss and that is dispatched for four runs. Hey mate. And that's short. And again, that's four more runs. And this is a uh, good cricket here. So two falls in a row, let's see what the uh, batter can do here. And that's a good recovery there by Mr Sizer. In comes my new favourite Wheatley bowler, Alex Anger. And that is beautiful, but I think he hit it. Oh, big shout. So for those of you that are interested, uh, a bit of a twos update for you from the chairman. Wayne? Uh, second team of 53 for one, chasing 169. 169. Do we know who's got the runs? Give me a sec. We'll be back with you shortly. Oh, that's bold. And uh, absolutely deserved that after his last uh, two overs. <laughs> so we're halfway um, through the Anson innings there. And they're uh, 54 for six, chasing uh, 148, 149 to win. And uh, let's see what the second half brings us. So Alex Angel to continue after the drinks break, and that's uh, a lovely ball. And, uh, well stopped by Mad Dog there. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, what happened there? That's uh, the last one he rolled and this one popped. And there was uh, a bit of a bouncer. Oh, and that's clipped off and that's caught. And that's another wicket and that uh, takes um, Anston 56. And in comes Jamie Sizer. And that's a beautiful ball, that's clipped up in the air. But that's going to race the boundary for four runs. Good shot there. So that's 63 for seven here, and Alex Angel continuing from the bungalow ends and Johnny Lotes with a beautiful catch. And that's uh, another wicket. So that's eight down for um, Anson now. And the catch. And in comes Alex again. It's a great over this so far, and that is. Absolutely walloped for uh, four runs. 68 for eight here, and uh, Anson in real big trouble. And that is an absolute beautiful ball. That swung an absolute mile. Middle stump, pinned back, and uh, great ball in there from Alex Danger. Guys. So that's 69 for nine here, and uh, James Sizer coming in. 23 overs left. And that is a beautiful ball, and that's edged and caught behind, and he's out. And that's the game. So, um, in good sportsmanship, um, the Wheatley boys have, uh, have called him back in um, to bat, because I, uh, I think he hit his pad there and it, he didn't really hit the bat. So, um, great sportsmanship and a bit of a clap from uh, the Anston players there. And after that... Good bit of sportsmanship there, Jamie Sizer has come back into ball and uh, good keeping by Dog and that's the over. So two slips in the gully in here for Alex Angel and oof, just past the edge of the bat. Come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> He's a quick run out and oof, nearly some over throws, good backing up there. And that is slice off leg, filled it by Jordan. Eventually, for a quick single. And in comes Journeyman, Jamie Sizer here. And that is off the hips, and that's gone through to top him, and that is caught, and that is the game. So, thank you, viewers, for watching today. Um, Anston, 73 runs. Uh, some tired legs out there, I think. And um, 
and weekly back to winning ways. If you've liked the video, please like and subscribe as always. And, uh, and hopefully Mr Peck or myself will be back next Saturday for the next instalment on Wheatley TV.